Hello everyone, I'm Dinosaur Boy and today I'm going to talk about the animal that has the horns of a wildebeest, a nose like a moose, a tail like a bear and a body like a bison. It's Takin. Takin is a mammal that can live up to almost 20 years. Takins are 3.3 to 4.5 feet or 1 to 1.4 meters tall at the shoulder and 5 to 7.3 feet or 1.5 to 2.2 meters long. Male takins can weigh up to 770 pounds or 350 kilograms and females can weigh up to 616 pounds or 280 kilograms. Takins are considered as national treasures in China, like the giant pandas. Takins can jump 6 foot or 1.8 meter walls from a standing start. There are four subspecies of Takins that I know. The Golden Takin, the Bhutan Takin, the Sichuan Takin and the Mishmi Takin. This large, muscular, hoofed mammal is sometimes referred to as a goat antelope because it has things in common with both goats and antelope but the takin is mostly related to sheep and to the goat like Aodad or Barbaroo sheep. Takins are generally slow moving but they can react quickly if their natural enemies bears, wolves, leopards and the horse attack. If these enemies were sighted by attacking, it will warn the others with a loud cough sound that sends the herd running for cover in the dense underbrush where they lie down to avoid being seen. Takins can also leap nimbly from rock to rock as well. Takins can also make an intimidating roar or bellow. They look a bit silly as they do this with their mouths open and tongues sticking out but don't be fooled by this animal because if they get angry that's the end. They are sometimes called the goats of attitude. During the winter in the rugged Himalayan mountains they have a secondary coat that is grown to keep out the chill. They will shed this coat in the summer. They also have a very noteworthy nose. This large moose-like snout has big sinus cavities to warm up the air that is inhaled before it gets to the lungs. Without this, takins would lose a large amount of body heat just by breathing. Did you know takins have no skin glands? Their skin secretes an oily, bitter-tasting substance that acts as a natural raincoat in storms and fog. They have crescent-shaped horns that grow from the center of their massive head and it can reach up to 35 inches or 90 centimeters in length. When it comes to food, takins can eat almost any vegetation within reach. This includes the tough leaves of evergreen and oaks, willow and pine bark, bamboo leaves, and a variety of other leaves and herbs. They can easily stand on their hind legs and the front legs propped against a tree. They can easily reach for higher vegetation. If the tastiest leaves are out of reach, takins have been known to use their powerful bodies to push over small trees to bring those leaves closer. After eating lots and lots of vegetation, they'll rest. But when they sleep, they sleep with their head resting on top of its front feet like a dog. When food is less plentiful, the large herds that migrates to the mountain with an altitude above 14,000 feet or 4,300 meters will break up into smaller groups of 10 to 35 takins as they head up to the mountains. Herds of takin are made up of adult females called cows, kids which is what young 
attacking are called subadults and young males and older males called bulls that are generally solitary except during the rut or the mating season in the late summer. Young takins butt their heads with each other for fun, but bulls butt their heads to establish dominance. Bull takins meet up with herds for a short time during the rut. They bellow loudly to attract cows and notify other bulls of their presence. They can find takin cows by tracking their scent. Once they meet, a bull sniffs and licks the female to determine if she is receptive. Then, taking cows will seek out areas of dense vegetation to give birth to a single kid in the early spring. But twin takins are really rare. At birth, taking kids are much darker than adults. This is camouflage from predators. Their coat will get lighter in color, longer and shaggier as they get older. If a kid gets separated from its mom during the first two weeks, it gives a panic noise that sounds like a lion cub. The mother will answer with a low guttural call that brings the kid running back to her. Takins are fairly quiet animals, but they do make some interesting noises from snorts to deep bugle-like notes and loud whistles coming out of that impressive nose. They also do a guttural burping sound which means the takin wants something. A deep noise that sounds like whoop is a warning or for asserting dominance. A mother may call to her kid with a high-pitched rrrr sound and males can make a resounding guttural bellow during fights with other males. As I said earlier, they also do a loud cough sound that sends the herd running for cover. Despite their size and defenses, local people hunt takins regularly for their meat, both within and outside protected areas. In fact, human hunters cause most takin deaths. But don't worry, takins have a really high level of legal protection in India, Bhutan and China. All have laws prohibiting taking hunting. Okay everyone, that's it for today and I hope you liked it. If you liked it, please don't forget to click that subscribe button and like. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. Bye.